As you know, unfortunately, Modern Warfare 3 Season 2 is a massive disappointment for Zombies fans, especially with it being a Zombies-themed season. And whilst this is the case, there is a bunch of really awesome Zombies content in both the multiplayer as well as the Warzone portions of the game. And because Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is unfortunately a massive disappointment with regards to how they're handling the post-launch, and it seems like for future updates, there's not really going to be that much substantial or interesting, many of us are just waiting out for Call of Duty 2024 Zombies, Black Ops Gulf War, the return to round based, and it seems like we may have a little bit of hope because we may be getting the reveal and marketing a lot earlier than we were previously expecting, and the teasers leading up to some sort of reveal event inside of Warzone might have already started to happen. So like I said, there's been many Zombies things added over to multiplayer as well as Zombies. In multiplayer, we have the new Hardpoint mode that we also saw in COD World War 2. That's essentially just regular Hardpoint with Zombies. It's a lot of fun, but honestly, I've been trying out these different modes and as a Zombies fan who doesn't really play multiplayer much anymore, it still feels just way too much like a multiplayer experience. That's because it is a multiplayer experience than a Zombies experience. So I think these modes have been created to try and bridge the gap for multiplayer fans and Warzone fans to then come over to Zombies and be interested in Zombies as opposed to the other way around. I think for those fans who just really play Zombies, you're not going to want to continue just because of these events. You might try it out a little bit, but at the end of the day, it has all of the frustrations that come with a multiplayer experience that Zombies fans like to get away from. And we also have the new war mode map, Operation Tin Man, that once again has zombies on it, as there'll be Dark Ether Gas later on. There's even an easter egg to get the ray gun on this map, a lot of fun there. And moving over to Warzone, we've recently had Fortune's Keep added, or should I say re-added. Now, according to reports, it might not be coming to zombies, unfortunately, and this is just so frustrating. I really don't know why both Fortune's Keep is getting zombies and multiplayer is getting zombies, yet apparently Fortune's Keep is not coming over to the main Zombies mode and apparently we're not going to be seeing any sort of onslaught experience in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I'm wondering if they're just saving that for COD 2024 Zombies because they have a lot of the assets and stuff like that considering they have zombie spawns already working in multiplayer. I know it requires more work than that but you can understand what I'm saying. They kind of have some of the foundations at least. Now on Fortune's Keep there's a bunch of easter eggs and this is awesome. There's literally so much. High Moon Studios who works on this map have done a phenomenal job and I really wish that Zombies got all of these easter eggs as well. We could have so many new easter eggs but somehow Warzone's getting more easter eggs than the actual Zombies mode nowadays even though that's what Zombies is known for. So yeah there's many easter eggs on Fortune's Keep to get the Wonder Wharf, to get the Ray Gun and so many other things and of course we have the zombie power-ups currently spawning and there is the eradication contract as well that will spawn in a zombie nest and once again there'll be zombies that spawn in. And even the original Fortune's Keep did have a little zombies easter egg egg on it that's not present on this new version, but there is a reference note to it. Now regarding Fortune's Keep, there's been some kind of earthquake that's gone through the map. Now it turns out it wasn't actually an earthquake, it was Connie, Makarov's Russian ultranationalist that were doing explosions for some kind of experiment, and that caused all of these cracks to occur in the islands. Now I assume that's why zombies are now here, maybe Connie have been experimenting on zombies or something like that, but anyways this is just a big recap. The point of this video and what I want to talk about today is mainly regarding Urzikstan in Warzone because since launch, since Modern Warfare 3 Zombies launched, we have discovered a bunch of different bunkers around the map. Of course, we had bunkers in Almazra as well as Verdansk. And currently, all of these bunkers are still closed within the Zombies mode for some reason, but inside of Warzone, they have started to open up some of the bunkers, particularly Bunker 5 that's located right slap bang in the middle of the map by Old Town. If you make your way down into the bunker, it's fully open, there's nothing you need to do to go inside and you will see that there's a bunch of test tubes that are holding zombies within that are being experimented on and monitored. There's no sort of special loot within this bunker or anything like that, but there is a further stage to the bunker that's currently closed off that I'm sure will be opened up in the future. And right now there's still, a, like I said, a bunch of other bunkers on the map that are still not open, so I wonder what secrets will be in them. But this, I think, is the beginning of teasers for Black Ops Gulf War because I feel like there's probably going to be a reveal event inside of Warzone again leading up to it, considering the fact that we literally have zombies being experimented on within these tubes inside of Warzone, this has to be building to something in the future as more and more bunkers open and more easter eggs are added. I think this is just the beginning and maybe because apparently a lot of the developers have moved off of Modern Warfare 3 zombies from Trek at least to then work on Gulf War zombies and finish that up, then maybe they're going to be starting the marketing for this game a lot sooner than usual, but zombies being inside 
inside of the bunkers has to be for some sort of storyline reason that has to then tie into surely the Gulf War Zombies reveal event because right now, like I said, they're not even open inside of zombies so it's possible that in the future these will be open inside of zombies as some sort of easter egg or something to do with the storyline there but considering the fact that they've only opened up inside of Warzone and not the zombies mode itself leads me to believe that this surely has to be tying into Gulf War Zombies for some sort of reveal event and this is a slow build leading up to it. Just like we got with the Cold War reveal event, although it wasn't particularly about zombies per se, there was many different teasers inside of Warzone leading up to that reveal event, some of which were teasing stuff regarding zombies. As to why these zombies are being experimented on here, I don't know. As to how they tie into stuff that's happening on Fortune's Keep, I don't know. Of course, we're having Rebirth Island coming over to Warzone again, which will probably be Season 3 next season. Maybe that's going to have some zombie stuff on there as well. After all, we did have Rebirth of the Dead back in the day with zombies on the map. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think of all of this? Do you agree with me that this is probably leading into a Gulf War Zombies reveal event inside of Warzone and we're going to get many Easter eggs and clues leading up to it? I hope it's really awesome. I always like those sorts of things. Like I said, maybe this is also going to tie into something future on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, but you have to understand the Warzone version is set after the events of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is a prequel to Modern Warfare 3's campaign in between Modern Warfare 2 and 3, set in 2021, whereas of course Warzone is happening in real time, 2023 or now, 2024. So this means that these bunkers have opened up long after the zombies have been contained in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. So this means that by the end of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies' story, we probably managed to successfully contain the zombie outbreak. Operation Deadbolt is successful, yet someone keeps zombies and are experimenting on them in these bunkers, although the general threat of the zombies is contained. Maybe that has something to do with Eddie Richthofen, who may be doing stuff behind the scenes or something like that. We're not sure. Or potentially even his son, Samuel. I recently posted a video speculating about the fact that maybe even Eddie Richthofen or his son could be the President of the United States. I'll link that video down in this video description. And also another thing to note is that there's these Mr. Peaks bunnies all over the map for some sort of easter egg. They give you loot when you shoot them. It's not really been fully solved yet though, just for a calling card. So I'm wondering how this ties into things as well. Like I said, the Warzone version is set after Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, which leads me to believe it's probably going to be tying into something for the future after, however, the storyline comes concludes, which I'm excited to see unfold. Now, I've seen many people drawing parallels to Advanced Warfare to do with these zombie canisters, because we had the Biolabs multiplayer map, for example, that had them on, and they were featured throughout there, and even the ending of Exo Zombies featured ores that had been cloned over and over again in these Biolabs, so that's leading people to draw that parallel, but it's not like this is exactly an original idea exclusive to Advanced Warfare. Zombies or humans or anything like that being experimented on within containers is a common thing in sci-fi, so there's no real connection there to advanced warfare. I mean, even on Zetsubo no Shima, they had canisters like this, and even on Tag to Totem, they had canisters like this, where they were trying to clone the crew, the Ultimus crew, and there was various different mutations there, so this isn't an original thing. Anyways, thank you for watching the video, make sure to subscribe if you're ready for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information, so anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, bye.